everybody. Oh, good afternoon. Everybody have a seat. Uh, so, uh, where was I? Uh, hey everybody, we're back with another episode of Today. the Sub Exiled Show. And this one's real exciting because we brought a special guest, Tyler Hosbino, everybody. Ty, how you doing? It's pronounced okay. Jose. <sighs> Jose Bino. It's another pronounced guy. Jose. Also, we have our reoccurring guest in every episode, uh, uh, Nick I from 3S praise. Videos. Hey, rare praise. <laughs> um, yeah. Wait, what is this? South Park? Park? Wow. No. No, it's China. Alright. But, uh, alright, so... That was probably the worst that one. That was a fucking intro. Started out. <laughs> that was worse than... That was yeah. worse than the... That was worse than the John There's one, which I still haven't Two people edited. deciding to do fucking well, you know, I gotta Asian to impressions as fucking soon as they got in here. Herald, please. What the hell was that? <laughs> Ty, that was spot on. I don't know. Ty, talk about fried rice for a minute. <laughs> Uh, fried rice, it tastes like, uh, chicken with a side of beef and lettuce. <laughs> yeah. I think rice is the correct answer to that. It tastes <laughs> like rice. <laughs> no, but it has that special me. flavor with it that all rice has. Eggs? Uh, well, yeah. No. Vegetables? That's too- Fuck fried rice have you been That's eating? No. <laughs> Alright, can we that talk about rice for a second? Like... Uh, fried rice is good, but like I don't think rice. anything tops like oh, Japanese yeah. steakhouse rice. Which is fried like, rice. Like Which Japanese is fried rice. You, well, yeah, I know, but like they make it better. They do. I, I second that motion. I've had some pretty. First, first of all, okay, okay, Japanese steakhouses are just fucking awesome in general. But I've also had some pretty bomb ass uh, fried rice at other places too. Dope. Where, what, Fried rice is hella dope. Would you, but would you, would you say that they are better? Better than, than what? What you get at a Japanese steakhouse. It depends steakhouse. on which steakhouse, and it depends on which uh, Chinese food place. No shit, you could say that for. Well, I'm not gonna like, generalize all Japanese general, steakhouses and all Chinese restaurants. I've had some fucking awesome Chinese. I've had some fucking horrible Chinese. Same with. I've never had any horrible wait, Chinese wait, hold steakhouses, on. but I've had... Actually, I've never had really bad Chinese. I've had people... Uh, other There's people say they have, but I've never really been disappointed. <laughs> Japanese and Chinese food? I, what, oh. <laughs> they both can't see very well, that's all I know. Wait, what's the difference between all If it all comes with sweet and sour sauce, that's Chinese. That's the only food. thing I know. Chinese what takeout do you, food. What do you mean? Is <laughs> I can take out some <laughs> fucking Japanese thing. food. A Japanese steakhouse is not the same thing as a fucking takeout food. Can you, you not take get out? To take, you Why don't get not? to take the chef home with you. <laughs> Why not? I'm pretty sure if you pay him enough, we're gonna revolutionize the industry. It's a little bit if something called the Fourteenth Amendment I, I, tie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's? I'm looking that up. <laughs> you know what the fuck? I'm looking that up. There's there's only so many amendments that deal with a group of people, and you should be able to I'm narrow it down. I'm looking. Like, can I take it the Japanese chef home doesn't to, it doesn't after he makes the little choo-choo train with the onions? <laughs> hey, 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 it's a volcano. Okay, so the 14th Amendment to the Constitution was ratified I've seen on, it. on a certain date and granted citizenship to all persons born or naturalized in the United States. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't refer to, like, black people specifically. It just says if you're born on yeah, American soil, you're a citizen. Wait, it doesn't? Ty, more of it. Were you go it's were you under the impression that that would actually <laughs> say you can't take a Japanese chef home with you? <laughs> yes. I can't breathe. <laughs> This is a serious problem back I'm in the 1800s. Serial, you guys. <laughs> People were stealing Japanese Bunch of white chefs left and right. Were taking their fucking Japanese steak chefs. <laughs> oh my god! Teeth just came out of my nose. <laughs> the average man. Wait, back in the 18th, 18th century, uh, a normal working man would go to work. Come no back shit. And expect his uh his Asian chef to greet him at the door and say, "We are not talking no, about hot sauce." So Thank you. 
<laughs> this is some alternate <laughs> oh history God. timeline where Japanese people were slaves instead of the blacks, but instead of like doing yard work, they were just fucking like cooking food. <laughs> They're throwing knives up I'm in the air. Wait, I'm not even talking about slavery. I'm talking about an honest working work. The Battle honest of Benihana, work. 19 or 1842. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, so are you saying slaves didn't do honest, hard work? Come on, man. G come on! <laughs> no, oh no, no. Not like the Jap- They don't go through nearly right. as much work as the Japanese chefs. But they're not forced to do it. I mean, the chefs, they can quit if they want. It's- I mean, who else are they gonna cook for, though? Well, themselves? yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, that sounds like slavery. <laughs> sounds <laughs> quite an awful lot like slavery. Yeah, as long as you're who else are no. they gonna do it no. for? Because, listen, because they can listen. Go if we don't force black people to pick cotton, who are they gonna pick meal, cotton for? They can go home and they'll have their own chef, and then the cycle will just keep repeating on and on. <laughs> I like that this came from rice. This all started from rice. I think we should yeah. end rice, guys. So Ethan, what, 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 do we, what, what, what do we do at this time? Guess we actually start the show. Well, well, what, what is typically the first thing we do? Oh, you are correct. Um, it's been one year since we recorded our last podcast, which exactly. means we have to do our annual oh, song. God. And since uh, Nick is here as our guest, we were thinking, Nick, you could uh, do our impromptu song for the beginning of the show. So I have to sing a song. You got to sing uh, any song you want about the pie. We usually make tie do it if we don't have. <laughs> it's typically tie. So, so if if we really want to, what? we can make tie do it. But no, we can have a duet. No. I, so I I just have to okay come that. up with a song about the podcast. About anything. Yeah. I mean, the podcast is nice, but do it about anything really. Oh jeez. I would like to see if we count to three and have him and Ty <laughs> sing at the same time, see if they <laughs> sing the same thing. <laughs> More than likely, yes. <laughs> Alright. Are you guys ready? Fucking battle. <laughs> Take this, eight mile. <laughs> oh, can we please have a can we please have a podcast rap battle? Can we please Which... not? <laughs> Ty, first verse. Joke. <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> oh shit. I'm glad I'm you going got... down. What the hell? Whose podcast All right, Ty, is gonna think suck of a you joke did. here? Ours will. I don't know. That, that's. That, Ty, how are you gonna compete with that? <laughs> that's great. I can't. That's great promotion, though. Uh, <laughs> Southern Sound Show. It'll suck your dick. Yeah. There you go. That's true. <laughs> That's a good angle for marketing. Alright, I got it. I pledge allegiance to the podcast <laughs> of the Cyborg Child Girl. Why do you find this so funny? Why is. I can't do it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen someone actually roll on the floor laughing, but he just fell out of his chair. Wow. I've I, I never seen it happen either. I especially haven't seen it happen because they tried to do the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> oh no! And now we'd like to take a moment to talk to you kids about the, dr about the dangers of drugs. <laughs> Ty doesn't need drugs. He's perpetually <laughs> high on just him fucking self. <laughs> this is not the first time this has happened. No, people say I'm high on life as a joke. No, Ty. I, I usually yes. just smash at the cereal and snort it. Is that is that like a specific cere uh, cereal? cereal yeah, that you do life. that with? <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> But can you see why kids love cinnamon I toast crunch? I forgot there was a cereal for a second. Ty, yes, can you I please can. sit back up? I'm trying. Ty, we don't fly you out for this podcast every uh fucking whenever every year. Coach, to uh for you to just fall we'll around. Never do first class. Never again. It's true. Nick, how was your flight up? My flight was good. I sat next to a large-breasted blonde woman, and I got the window seat. That was just, that was just Ethan For you coach, sat next to. <laughs> oh, damn. I thought I saw an Adam's apple. Yeah. I'm back. Yeah. Okay. E 
Hey, Ethan, I, still I have hit something it. new. I have something new we've never yeah, done would. before. <laughs> oh yeah, something we haven't done before. Is this, this is a new. This is like an in between. This is this is, this is a new hurt. segment. I want to introduce, and we'll see how far we get along with this if this ever comes back again. But it's called Sound of the Week. Uh, I'm gonna play a sound, and you're gonna have to tell me a what you think it is, and then I'll tell you, and we can talk about it, okay? All right, all right. Here's the sound. Oh, Kaby, oh, Kaby. I need another one with you. Maybe. Had a level. And then. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, Kaby? All right, what do you think that was? Ty, Ty's raising his hand. Yes, Ty. Can I take a guess and say it has something to do with the drunk waffle? No. What? I. I yes. I what is your theory. theory? I think it was Ty without his medication. <laughs> I don't take here. medication. Oh. Here. Ty just <laughs> snapped his terrible. fingers around his face <laughs> like a sassy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I. The only thoughts in my mind were either some black guy or a retarded person. And for some you might I'm be right about page, both yeah. of those. You want me to tell you who it actually is? Uh, sure. This is an actual recording of Bill Cosby. Oh, no. I don't know why. He has these series of videos that are the absolute fucking bonkers thing ever. Anyways... The absolute bonkers, The huh? absolute bonkers. <laughs> Anyways, that was Sound of the Week. I don't know if that's the shittiest thing you've ever heard or not, but... Before or after he went to jail? First of all, he, he yeah, never he went to jail. to jail. Wait, really? No. <laughs> He I don't think be. he's ever been But it was most trial, definitely beforehand. Uh... But speaking of that, I have <laughs> another clip lined up here if you want to hear it about what his plan is yes. to get out of jail. I ate myself into this, and I'm going to eat myself out of it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is, no. That is an actual recording of Bill Cosby that I, for some reason, had lined up. Of him saying he's going to eat. that's his ate. response to the whole rape uh, allegation. He just puts out that oh, video <laughs> to all fun. my haters. <laughs> Pudding can only take you so far. <laughs> We're halfway there. The pop can take you the rest. <laughs> okay. Are we getting into the topics or do we have any more ramble shit? I gotta say, that was like the weakest intro in the world and then it just went absolutely fucking insane after like 30 <laughs> seconds. Yeah? What do you want? You wanna fight? I... Do you want to medal? You beat me up fight? after no. school every day! So that was a voice. Yeah. What do you want to fight? All right, uh, I guess you ready to spin that wheel? Yeah, the wheel yeah, is. Hello, I'll spin it. <laughs> All right, the first topic is what do we call Nick? That was the first thing I got of the wheel. So, so Nick. All right. So this Nick is wants your topic, to talk Nick, about so how we we call him his gamer tag slash name thing. Uh, yeah. So, for a long time, I was the urban ninja. Um, it, that spawned out of something kind of stupid, and I just had that name. It was on all my videos uh, for credit and everything. But when I would voice act for other people, I would go to their... Uh, they would credit me as Nick from 3S Videos. And it just kept being a recurring thing. And then I would join in parties from, like, a bunch of people from Machinima Union, a bunch of other Machinima directors. I voiced for them, and I've done stuff with them, and they're like, oh, who the hell's the Urban Ninja? I'm like, it's Nick. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I do 3S videos. Oh, Nick from 3S videos. And I'm like, God fucking damn it. <laughs> so <laughs> it just came to a point where I was like, well, I guess I'm just going to have to change it what to that. What do the S's, because isn't like there a thing where like, I thought it was like a logo and it has like three words that start with S that uh, explain what it means. Yes. It's Sarcastically Serious Studios. Uh, that is what it started out as, but YouTube and its infinite wisdom will not make uh, a channel title that long. 
So I had to abbreviate, and that was the best I could come up with. I just want to congratulate all of you guys for going this long without making a racist joke about the name Urban Ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's a different story behind that, and race had nothing all to right, do I'm with it. Alright, I'm glad that. to hear. See, no I like that we talked about <laughs> slavery and Japanese people, and he somehow <laughs> combined them both. They have coalesced into like one <laughs> topic. <laughs> yeah, I'm just good like that. You're just good like that? Motherfucker, I'm yeah. the best. I'm Batman. That's true. Batman. He does, uh, he does <laughs> you do the Batman videos. You are ba You actually were, uh... And the only in Batman Begins, you were Batman. L little known <laughs> fact, you were actually casted in The yes. Dark Knight, but Heath Ledger had some problems with you. And then since, since the whole, like, death thing happened with him, I don't know, I don't, you know, very... Si well, I, I'll, j I'll just say this. Wait, someone died? Nobody really knows if it was actually a suicide. That's true. He wanted it a rollback. It could have been a 3S suicide. <laughs> it could have been a 3S suicide. Fucking broke back mountain this bitch. Ty. You you sure broke his back. <laughs> Ty, how do you feel about the urban ninja over here? I don't see anything wrong with it. Alright. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on before we run out of shit to talk about here, or Okay. Yeah. Okay. Spin that wheel. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 I'm gonna spin the wheel. It's like The Price is Right. It's just like it. This is exactly like The Price is Right. It'd be a really shitty prize if you just get a fucking topic. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Ethan wants to talk about TV shows. This is his supposed serious topic. This is the only thing I could think of uh, in short time, so I guess, like, the year's coming to an end, right? <clears throat> and the thing is with TV shows, you can get TV shows kind of whenever, and they can be of any quality, whereas with, like, movies, you get, like, good movies at the end of the year, and it's like, summer's a blockbuster, January is like, you get I, Frankenstein comes out. Uh, so... I, Franken who? <laughs> I Franken you. I saw that movie. No, I Franken who? I've never heard of it. I don't. It had Aaron Eckert. He played Frank. Yeah, I know who that Who's is. Who's that? He's the guy who played uh, Two Face in fucking Dark Knight. Yeah, he was Two Face. Neat. Yeah, it was super neat. <laughs> Ty looks like Ty. You look like someone's movie. like jerking off right in front of you behind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you just don't know how to describe it. Nothing. All right, good. You know this is a podcast, right? No one but us can see what you just did. <laughs> nope. But uh, TV shows, so they're coming out soon. Uh, what what TV shows are we all excited about? Excited for or ones that I already like. Oh, there's no TV shows that I'm really excited for Ty, right what now. TV show are you excited for? Uh, the only show I watch. Right now it's on break. I'm waiting for it to resume from hiatus. And uh, it's not a normal show. It's called. It's an animation. It's called Steven Universe. I don't know what that is, Ty. I know what it is. Yes. It, it's a show. It's a show on Cartoon Network. Yep. Ty, why would you ever watch Cartoon Network when Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy left? There was no reason to return right? to Right? <clears throat> See, something got me on this show, and now I'm hooked on it. And then I got my sister hooked on it. And uh, a bunch of people I know sure, are getting hooked heroin, on it. Ty? <laughs> yeah, is it a gateway show? <laughs> no, because it, it deals with, act, it deals with Listen, start uh, off issues that time. other shows wouldn't even talk about it talks about Rape. depression it talks about slavery japanese people kind of well yeah actually <laughs> we yeah. got a we got a show talks for about, that right here <laughs> it talks about <laughs> lesbians it talks about uh, i don't believe you what <laughs> i want to see this it, cartoon it, network it, show <laughs> yeah you have to see <laughs> it. i've actually heard some negative things about the show i've never seen it so i can't really uh say anything but i've heard some people Wait, talk badly about it i want to hear 
Huh? I've 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 seen I've seen an episode and I felt it would be better on acid. Uh, it was probably like one of the earlier of things, episodes. <laughs> the earlier earlier episodes kind of they sucked. Ty, if you can write an episode of Steven Universe, what would the plot be? <laughs> um, a lot of people dying, a lot of chaos in the sky, but uh, eventually. They pull together, and uh, there's just this big sacrifice, and everyone dies, but all for the sake of goodness. <laughs> that sounds like an awesome Cartoon Network <laughs> episode. <laughs> Some four-year-olds watch it. Oh, Steven Universe, and everybody gets brutally murdered. I just want to talk about you on like the sunny again. field. <laughs> it's like the 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 weird like <clears throat> the weird like stereotypical like music that plays, and you see like animals waking up, and you just see someone get his fucking throat slit like immediately. <laughs> blood goes flying everywhere. Just cuts to one of the ISIS see, that's videos. Cartoon Network for you. Yeah, <laughs> cuts to the Auto it's just Akbar. ISIS. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what my Steven Universe episode's gonna be about. He talks about the it's tough be, things, It's like gonna be ISIS. a five-hour compilation of the funniest ISIS. ISIS kills. Well, he does have a shield. <laughs> that, so that stops ISIS? I don't understand. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> told Send him like, out. <laughs> Send him out. Put okay. me in, coach. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> is, 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 he like a, is he like a discount Captain America? No. You put him in a giant cannon. Captain Cannon. All right. <laughs> I already like. Where already this is off going. to a great start. He activates his shield, and you shoot him, and then they target, say like a, the Supreme Headquarters of ISIS Commando. The Supreme Headquarters of ISIS Commando. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like GI Joe. What is this GI Joe? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are we gonna be fighting Cobra Commander next? <laughs> And he slams into the building, everything explodes, he walks away, and, like, their leader is like, next time, Steven, next time. <laughs> what What happened to everybody else dying? No one would die. Wait, what? <laughs> what did we solve from yeah, this? You, you just said that everybody was going to die, and it would be awesome, and I, not everybody died, I'm disappointed. No, no one dies. We, we need, like, Game of Thrones-style Cartoon Network here. Just everybody dies. Well, yeah, that, that'd that be preferable. That's, but. that's Steven Universe for you. So, my, so, so much like <laughs> yeah. Ty's show, mine is on Nickelodeon. It's called Spongebob, and it's about rape in Nazi Germany. <laughs> well, we all, we all knew about that. That's not the new chemical. Kids like have been watching that for trying years. To hide it. I have proof. On the latest episode of SpongeBob SquarePants, there was an episode where SpongeBob is out on in the latest field. episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> there was an episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there was an episode where he was in jellyfish fields, and he found this tablet. He read some like ancient Egypt gossip or shit like that. And then all of a sudden, these, like, burial graves were rising out from the death. And, like, these, they were wearing these hats that had spikes on them. Wasn't this the, um, <laughs> the He Was Number One episode or the Sh uh, Schmidt Jagerman Jensen or whatever when he... Oh, uh, yeah. That's not new. No, it's yeah. a later on episode. It's, uh, one they haven't released yet. Oh, right. Then how have you seen then it? how have you seen it? <laughs> Yeah, what the hell? I found it online. <laughs> but they haven't released it. <laughs> I found it online. It was leaked. It was leaked, yeah. So, like, their general... Where did, where, where did you find the... this online, Ty? If I want to see this episode, where do I go? <laughs> well, uh, I'll give you a link later on. What website? What, Just what, what website? It, Pornhub? it was no. Pornhub. No, that's... No, it's he got not. all That's of disgusting. Fallout 4 and Spongebob oh. information from there. Fun, fun, fun fact about Pornhub, I've actually come across a, a Call of Duty montage on Pornhub. There's a lot of stuff like that where it actually gets like a bunch of likes, <laughs> and I so like weird. that too, that there's just an audience that really likes it. <laughs> it's like, oh man, that was a pretty sick edit. Did you, I, did did you I still just, masturbate? <laughs> fucking earthquake! <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I had to masturbate. Ty jolts out of his chair. This is a bad. Oh 
fuck. Yeah, no I was skill. I was scrolling through <laughs> looking for uh, entertainment when I came across a Call of Duty commentary, <laughs> and I find my I found myself halfway through a shitty like Black Ops commentary, just wondering like why am I doing this? I guess it's interesting. That's I, uh, a TV show I'm well, here's the thing. To. I, 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 I like, I like porn, um, and which is, which is a given, but here's the thing here. <laughs> sorry, mom. Uh, but I don't like it. The, I don't <laughs> like it the same way. Like maybe you guys do. I like to critique it. Like I'm in the, I'm like the Ooh. one comment you see at the bottom that was like, I feel like I didn't get to know the female in this. Ass is oh, too okay. gaping. Okay. There was one I saw no maid. No sexy maid, regular maid, real life maid, no maid wears jean jo- short shorts. No maid does this. So how do you expect me to watch when it says, oh, sexy maid strips? No maid wears jean short shorts. Who well, wears short shorts? I wear short shorts. There, there are some times where I'm watching it and some like actor says something like it, that says something I find incredibly funny and then I'm too yeah. busy having a laughing fit to continue. I don't know if that's happened to anyone else or not. I... I get in the like, cause, cause Never. I go to like the MILF category a lot, and it's always like Wait, I accidentally yourself. get, th- I get through it, and then they just kind of like, uh, at one point say, "Oh yes, I am most definitely your son, and you are my mother," and I'm just kind of like, "Oh, what? can you like not I'm say that? that? Can we go back five seconds?" <laughs> right. <laughs> right. What? Like, like, I, I, this is not my conversation. Me, like, oh, stepmom and son. It's like, no, I don't. I do. I don't want to. I see think his that. mic just went out. Why? Oh, no. we're, we're, we're. I do not have an Oedipus complex. <laughs> thank you. No, thank what you. What is going on here? So this is the TV shows that we like. We're talking huh? about porn. I'm too young for this. Ty, you're, you, you've had your fair <laughs> I needed share adult. of adults, correct? No. Gilfs, Ethan, get None. it right. Oh, right. He's got a no. gun. Hell yeah, never. he does. Nope, never. Ty, do you have that bitch on standby? Nope, never. Mrs. Robinson, are you trying to seduce me? Mrs. Robinson. No. All right. Ty, does Stacy's mom, I... in fact, had got it going on? <laughs> Who's Stacy? Oh, my God. Okay, what if... What if Stacy's mom was Jesse's girl and her phone number was 8675309? What if she was Bruce Springsteen? Wait a minute. <laughs> Ty's trying to figure this one out. <laughs> Ty's googling this phone number. What is the area code? <laughs> oh my He's trying God. to figure out how to call it. Hello, is this Jesse's girl and or Stacy's mom? <laughs> no, there's a car- there's a car commercial that goes exactly cars like that. Cars for kids? It's like 1877 cars for sale. It's cars for kids. Oh my God. But they don't even, but they cars don't even, so, it's not, they don't even use the money to like fund cars and shit. They use it for like Jew camps to like, what they do is, <laughs> no, this isn't the Holocaust <laughs> thing. No, more I confused. swear to God, the cars for kid commercial, it's like, Sign it's either Jews or Mormons, I forget, but like they have this camp and they kidnap people and they convert them to either I think it's Jews. They convert them to Jews in this camp from the One Cars for Kids seven, commercial. Seven, I'm not making this up. It's K <laughs> Wow. Although we you know, don't when have you them start, in Phoenix. When you start this with the Jew camps, you know <laughs> what we're instantly going to think of. No, right? the cars for <laughs> it's the cars for kids <laughs> right? thing. They don't give it to kids, they, they give it to Jew camps. You know, spe- speaking of Jews, what do you call a discount circumcision? A ripoff. Oh. <laughs> Why do you have Wait, those? if we're telling jokes, I got a joke. Oh, boy. Hold on, everyone. Sh- er, Ty, <laughs> joke, please. Do you want to hear a joke? Yes. Yes, Daddy right, Ty. Here it goes. Joke. Sorry, I was only half joking. Ty... I don't like to throw this around too much, but uh, you should like kill yourself. <laughs> Did Dane Cook just saunter into the room? You're gonna make a great dad one day. You're gonna make we such got a the good cookster dad. in the room. Okay, so is there anything anyone wants to talk about TV shows anymore? Or are we through with this? I think we kind of got way that off topic. A lot. <laughs> yeah, My dick happens a lot. It's true. What? Ty wants to see it. 
Uh, I guess right, come over here and give me a House kiss. of Cards and Better Call Saul are coming out. That's all I really care about. Always sunny. I mean, there's um, nothing really oh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking sunny. for. Yes, there's nothing always really sunny. that I'm like, oh, I, I can't wait to show. watch this TV show. But there's stuff that's like, yeah, I kind of want to watch it. I don't know. I'm not a big TV dude. Um, I I will say, I I can't wait for Archer. Archer's a good show, but I never keep oh, up wait, with it. Oh, Archer, you're right. Okay, I was. Did they ever kill that yeah. daughter yet? Which daughter? Wait a minute. What do you mean, which? <laughs> the Archer's daughter. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> the look of who wants. That was another each other. episode oh, I found online. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Um, no, uh, I'm excited for Archer. I love South Park. Well, South Park just ended. Uh, it was actually really good. Like, it was the yeah, best the last season of South, South Park, Park I've seen in a good. very long time. You know, I, I love how they're connecting. Well, they did it episodes. last season, I and I didn't like it that much. Like, it felt like it was just wasn't interesting enough. And this, I didn't like it more than you. There were some times where you it. thought it was funny, and you came to me and it was like, come, it was a funny episode, and I came back, and I was like, I don't like that. I don't like that. This... Uh, so, some of the episodes individually were This episode, that was, this great, season was pretty good. But the actual overall connection is the best oh. season of South Park in a, in a long time. I I gotta say, the trilogy of the Black Friday is probably my oh favorite. My God. All I'm gonna say for TV shows, very underrated TV shows called Review, Andy Daly Comedian, very funny. Check it out, watch That's it. A good show. Oh, yeah. Celebrity Apprentice. You got pissed off last time because Donald okay. Trump isn't going to be on it anymore. Yeah, I'm. I'm okay, I'm so, very sad about that. Wait, hold on, that's still going. Yeah, yeah, it's, but Donald Trump isn't going because he got kicked so off. We had this. Like, so we. So we. So I forgot which episode it was. I think it was episode two. We had this big long. We made a revelation to tie that he episode. was kicked off of Celebrity Apprentice, and it was this big screaming fest. Yeah. Oh well, no, we were talking about how <laughs> uh, we were talking about the whole Mexican thing that Donald Trump was talking about, and Ty was just furious that he wasn't going to be on Celebrity Apprentice anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he doesn't win the election so that he can go back. He's not going and host back. Celebrity oh Apprentice. What? What are? What are that, reasons? That's the Joe only Trump reason you don't want Donald election. Trump to win the election. That's the sole reason. Listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm not thinking for really fans. Donald Trump is the next guy. I mean, no, as long as that next like guy is Donald no Trump. Thing. There's but other reasons. I really want him to lose. But that's the main one. I feel like everybody just wants to see Celebrity Apprentice again, and that's why they don't want Donald Trump to win. No, I, w I want the lamestream media Ooh. just wants their apprentice back. I, I want I want celebrity deathmatch. That was back. good. What? Right? I want American but Ninja. Like live Celeb action. Oh yeah, that'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> celebrity Celebrity <laughs> Deathmatch was this uh, claymation wrestling it was, show it was a claymation. MTV used to have, and they took like a bunch of famous people and had them like battle to the death, and it was awesome. No one, but no one here hilarious. but three Nick, three S, McGoober Gobbles over here knows what I'm talking about, so I'm just gonna move on. Are we? Are we doing something else, Ethan? Good. Uh, I guess we're spinning the wheel. Okay. Prepared for the wheel to be spun. You don't need to. Shameless advertising. I'm gonna finally say it here because I got it three times in a row. Last time I tried to spin the wheel, but. Uh, shameless advertising and upcoming projects from 3S Videos, Nick McFuckface over here. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Yes. Oh. Uh, McFuckface was my middle name. Oh, is, it a um, is it a family name or did your parents <laughs> give it to you? It is, it is a family my name. My father was a uh, McFuckface you know, before was my, me and his father my, before my him. Great, my great grandfather Emilio McFuckface. Little known fact, George Washington was actually George McFuckface Washington. <laughs> You're a direct descendant. That's what. That's why he had the wooden yeah. teeth. Mm -hmm. Take it out at and any time. And the beard. The little scrawny beard that, like, went from here, then it's all What the down. fuck are you like, talking you about? Like, under like, your right nose. Here. That's called a mustache. <laughs> his what beard right here points to under his nose. No, George Washington did not have so, that. So, shameless advertising. Um, I just figured I'd, you know, put a plug in for all the stuff that's coming up. Um, I've been kind of absent for a while. The last things I did was Batman. Wait, wait. Um, but my work changed up schedules and school started back. But I'm going to be putting out uh, some shorts and a uh, mini series over winter break. So uh, you'll see Burger Wars. Uh, there's an ODST machinima I'm working on called Lost. 
Uh, I'm gonna put we out have a video called Lost ODST. I actually just watched that yesterday. I was like, oh, that's, that's funny. Kind of oh, relatively you made that, like, old. Over a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's been much better since well, then, but it was still um, not bad. But yeah, Wait, this, this we of course watched all our ODSTs. videos after that, right? Yeah. Yes, I I watched most of your videos just because I was coming on this Neat. podcast. All right, good. Um. But I'm what actually, do you want, Ty? Uh, You're I'm raising your hand. <laughs> what could you stop like a fucking three year old? Classroom. <laughs> what? Just talk like an adult. I want you. I wanted to be. <laughs> I wanted to be polite. What? Uh, wait. Do you do the voice of Batman for your like your? Uh, we told you he was in scene. Batman Begins. <laughs> yes, I do the voice of Batman in all my videos. Can you give us an impression? I hope he punches himself in the Ty. throat right before he does. <laughs> he, just, he just like pulls I mean, out a knife. I don't knife. know what to say. Um, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so what's going on? You want to go get some bitches and cocaine? Alfred always keeps the Batmobile stocked. Yes. A Batman. Ty, are you not? Are you? Are you? Have you what? been entertained? I have been entertained. That's okay. all I want. <laughs> I also, I, I did, uh, if you go to Toolbox Machinima, uh, we co-wrote a three-part uh, Superman versus oh, Batman. Oh, wait, no. Toolbox doesn't yeah. talk to us. And, or at least um, I was thinking yeah, we tried to get in contact with Batman Toolbox and the Joker. before, and we were never... We've been trying so, yeah, for like a he, year. You, you know what? I... I do stuff with them all the time, and it's still bitch. Well, I found out, I was talking to Isaiah because I wanted to get in contact with you, because I was like, yeah, I messaged him one time for, like, voice acting and never answered. He's like, yeah, you kind of got to email him, yeah. so. Yeah, you, you, you got to keep on him about it, too. You could have asked me. I know. I didn't uh, want you, Ty. <laughs> Ty, you're in enough shit. <laughs> but, um, I'm actually going to be doing a continuation. I'm currently in the writing stages, a continuation of UZM. Uh, my untitled zombie machinima I did. I'm going to be uh, doing a continuation of the characters. So that's going to be coming out next year. And um, I recently did a voice for The Great Isaiah. Uh, to his series We're The Misfits. I played Major Jones. That, Check I it out. Oh. I think, I think all, yeah. everyone here has been in Misfits. Me, me and Ethan particularly Don't. are in a shit ton of <laughs> Isaiah videos. We like yeah. play Halo okay, with him a lot. Tie. Or at least we used and, to until um, flat. I, I'm co. <laughs> I'm also co-writing and voice acting in a series with uh, Tri Titan, the comedic duo. It's on his channel. Yeah, I have seen that. I, 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 know, yeah. I mean, like, you can do that. You know, you we know, we do plugs at the end of the show. As as, well, yeah, I, I figured I'd work as it as in um, anyway. Very subtle. Can we see your muscles real quick? Is that a thing yes. I'm able to see? Can you like flex for me just real quick? Wait, me? Yes, yes. You. No, the other oh Ty I was talking to. I, I Ty, you're a big old muscly man. man. Flex your body. Show us your guns. They're illegal in seven states. <laughs> what are you looking around for? Just do it. Here's my gun. Look at those muscles. They're showing off yeah, their muscles. If I, uh, you, yeah, I'm right. showing off mine too. This is my left arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see my right arm's bigger. Uh, yeah, it this is. This is my bacon, and this is my lettuce. Okay, so Ty actually showed his for your other arm. <laughs> that was a hot hunk of meat. That's how that is. That's oh some, quite God. the uh, biceps you got there. But speaking of, of shilling ourselves, I don't... When this thing comes out, I don't know what we have released because we're working on like a bunch of different shit. So I don't we know. have a short coming out that should be out by the time this podcast is. You it say should be, be, but you know how lazy I am. I'm not working on it tonight. Yeah, but this is I. Uh, sure. It's two weeks from now, so it really should be up. But and then you hopefully never know. we have something else planned. I have another video plan that I wanted to do over break and record, but I'm not actually sure if I'm going to do that now. So we'll see. 
I don't want to. Okay, I have something. I have something about this that I want to say, but I don't want to bring up right now. So, are we done with this? Do we have any in between things? Are we moving on, or what's going on? I had an in between thing, but I guess you can say your thing, or were you gonna? What? I was gonna say. I was saying I had something to say about this, but I don't want to do it in the show. So. Oh, all right. Wait, can we like shamelessly advertise stuff? Yeah. That's what do kind you of think we've exact, been doing for that, the past That's kind of the exact minutes. title of what that I would <laughs> well, have it, I didn't want to cut in on uh, advertising Nick. Nick, you're a hot piece of shit. What? What? I Thanks. know I am. You you legitimately just asked, can we shamelessly advertise? And then you said you didn't want to interrupt while fucking Nick was shamelessly advertising. <laughs> Just talk, Ty! I don't know. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Can I buy some pot from you? <laughs> what flavor? Cherry or apple? What are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? Let's play a game. Do you think Ty smokes weed? <laughs> if you guess yes, you're wrong. <laughs> I think Ty snorts Ritalin. That doesn't I don't even know what that is. ADHD oh my god. <laughs> or something like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Some medication. Yeah. Well, that would have been my at least 10th guess. Alright, what do you want to plug, what? Ty? Uh, yeah. Alright, I want to advertise Infinite Guardians by uh, some friends of mine who are working on it. Is it there? Is it out yet? They have the the main guy who works on the series. He has two seasons of the series who had, that has just concluded. Uh, seasons, yeah. So he's working on third, but in between, he and another friend are working on uh, like a book project in between it, and they're writing their own uh, stories about that story. Um, I'm butchering this, but I, I feel it should have just been a yes or no answer. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that, yeah, that reminds go check me, them out. <laughs> that, right, that, that, that reminds me, back <laughs> when I did uh, Machinima Union and I was editing the Machinima Talks, I remember getting a, a video that they wanted me to put in, and it was from this guy, I think I did put it in, and it was like, uh, it, it had nothing to do with Machinima. It was some guy advertising his book about love, and the entire video was like a 3D rose spinning around in a pink background while oh, philosophical text I know who came that up. was. And it was like supposed I know to who advertise that was. their like love story. Ty, was that you? That was Ty. All right, so it Were was you. Were you the love story, Ty? No, not me. <laughs> Doctor Trauma Ty. Listen, oh, I, don't wanna, I don't know who this is, so I don't want to rip on him. He could be an awesome dude, but I was so confused that I had to, like, edit this thing for Machinima Union. I haven't talked to him for a while. The the only reason I know of him is because when I was doing the weeklies with Machinima Union, I butchered his name, like, 20 times before they finally just said, screw it, put it in there. Dr. Trauma tie. Yeah. Yeah, we... Not the original tie. History with MU is pretty lengthy, weird. but I don't want this to be the let's jerk ourselves off and talk about oh, stuff. Oh, I no talked... I had a pretty uh, lengthy conversation with fucking Nick before... Uh, for this about that. About what? What are we talking about, Ty? What the Your fuck mom? do you I, think we're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Trauma tie? No. Yes, it was all... It was all about Dr. Trauma tie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's a he's a cool person. So, <laughs> he sure is. Great topic, everybody. Spin the wheel. Uh, spin the right, wheel. Right, I'll spin the wheel one yes, more time, please. and after this, Ethan, you want to do the in between thing? Sure. Okay. Uh oh. Spin the wheel. Okay, this is my one and only topic. So you guys, uh -oh. you guys better prepare. This is going to be a big one. You got a friend in me. <laughs> you have accidentally made 450 Chicago-style deep-dish pizzas. What do you do? Accidentally, you've no. accidentally made 450 <laughs> Chicago-style deep-dish pizzas. You, I mean, they're gonna go to waste. They're gonna rot. Create trash problems. Global warming. 
You gotta you feed a bunch I of people. A... How are you gonna distribute them? What are you gonna do? Wait, wait. <laughs> they're fucking. Deep I would, dish. I would yeah, eat they're... half of one and throw the rest in the river. How thick are they? Deep dish. <laughs> what does that matter? Because 450 pizzas. What are you talking I can about? Use my. What are these thoughts that go through your head? It into more pizzas. <laughs> Ty, can and you, then I can. Ty, Ty, can you show us your then, fucking and ray? And then Not I even a ray gun. Build you just have a ray. You have a fucking. I can. You I okay? Can so, build. so hold on, hold on, hold on. So in this in this Doctor Seuss <laughs> world you live in, it's called college. You would accidentally make four hundred and fifty. Um. Deep dish Chicago style pizza. Correct. Use a ray and make a house out of them. Yes. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to now, get that clear. I, w I would make an orphanage out of it. What, how did you make this what? orphanage? Some I'm so trying to. In the orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> but they'd be eating their own Oh homes. no, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> out of pizzas! Out of the pizzas! I'm... Batman does not appreciate a pizza house. I'm not done. And then. Assuming the pizza hasn't been cooked to the right degree, <laughs> we put it in a giant oven with the p orphans in it. <laughs> we light it, <laughs> and there we go. You we light have a the community oven. pizza for everyone. Is, is this I'm just, and I'm Gretel just imagining. Where we're I'm just imagining. There's one witches? like large size <laughs> pizza. And they have like five kids just on top of it, stuffed in the oven. I like to see and someone try to hide a out. child inside a pizza and serve it to somebody. Oh my god! <laughs> officer, officer, I don't know why they're bone no, child. You have to stay the down, but I don't uh, want here's the thought that I hope went through Ty's mind whenever he heard four hundred and fifty deep dish pizzas. I was just really hoping he was thinking, "Wow, that's a lot of pizza." <laughs> Like, for some reason in my head, I just thought that'd be really funny. <laughs> I wish. How do you... A, a better question is, how do you accidentally make that many pizzas? I don't know, you asked me, you accidentally made them. You got caught up in the time. Time flew by when you were having fun. Now, wait, wow. now you never said how long it took to make those pizzas. You are n so 93 say, years old. <laughs> so, like, say your boss wanted you to make a pizza. And as soon as you made the first one, 450 you realize, oh, times. something's wrong with it. I have to do it over. Make another one. Where, do you, where are you working when your boss is imperfect. commanding but, but, you to make on, pizzas? Hold on, hold on, no, no. That, that would... <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's that true, would not be that. accidentally. That would be purposely <laughs> being told to do this. That would be deliberately <laughs> making these pizzas. Well, listen. How do you just stick a pizza in the oven and pull it out and go, Oh, shit. Listen, <laughs> you made the dough, things. you started pouring the sauce, you got the cheese, and one thing led to another, and you got 450 of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a standard definition for a restaurant could be like a perfect no, it's high definition pizza. It's four with a perfect amount of sauce, cheese, and like pepperoni, whatever kind of toppings You're on Italian it. Italian sauce. And now, if one thing's out of place, so say there's one less pepperoni on this pepperoni? slice than anywhere else, <laughs> yes, then Ty, the whole Ty, pizza has to be Ty. redone. Were your parents cousins? What? I no. still don't understand the accident. <laughs> no, he's from like, New Jersey. He's got a point. It's still not an accident. You're still yeah. making oh, that 450 pizzas. You're just a great fucking worker, I guess. <laughs> yes. Okay. So here's the accident. After he's made the 451 pizzas. No, no, that is not the, the question. <laughs> wait. 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 Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> wait. You okay. are breaking the no, rules, sir. Quit evading chemical. the question. You're right. You're right. After he made the 450 pizzas, he looks back at the first one and realizes, Oh, wait. I already made a pizza before all of this. I didn't have to make any of these. <laughs> and that's when you murder him. Notice how we're all I, looking absolutely. at you. Absolutely. <laughs> In a positive way? 
Uh, sure. <laughs> Ethan, what would you do? I, really? I, I just have so much respect for you, Ty. In, this didn't actually retrospect, happen. I'd probably you can't take just those in retrospect. Pizzas. Probably some of them are filled with... M <laughs> like, no, like... In retrospect... I wouldn't have like, made the pizzas. Why would they? You like, some of them, them will be perfect, others will be, like, Mine's full of 2020. Mold. So, you take the ones that are moldy... <laughs> Why would they be full of mold? Well, you can't make 450 pizzas all at the same time. It takes... Why not? It takes at least 5 to 10 minutes between each one. What if, what if you had 450 <laughs> ovens going at once? So, in a standard restaurant, I'm doing- <laughs> I'm doing the math here! <laughs> So there's 450 pizzas. Say, I mean, you can have this shit knocked out in 30 say minutes. Say there's two ovens, and each oven takes 10 minutes. So divide it by, oh I shit. I also have a dryer. <laughs> 450. Divide by 20 minutes. D pizza would you not get mold. 22 hours, and 22 and a half hours to make all these pizzas. <laughs> no. It would still be what's good. You don't know it doesn't the, matter, but the, what's the wrong with the dough? They sell them on the eBay. Restaurant. It could be a really shitty con restaurant, or it could be this five star. <laughs> <laughs> the dough could be expired. After 22 Why hours? Why would you be using expired dough? <laughs> because some businesses are cheap like that. Todd, you, you literally the, just did the, the math in front of us and determined that it would take 22 hours and you're still trying to perpetrate this mold theory. <laughs> because there's so many factors I'm just that can go, go back, back to it. my original statement. I would eat half of one and throw the rest in the river. Think That's about why the I'm saying take the ones that are moldy, throw them at people on the There's not going to be any of them that are, are moldy. Looking... No, <laughs> we are looking for a better uh, opportunity. They'll eat the pizza and realize, man, I have some things I have to think over. And then they'll think uh, about okay. it. Well, then, so then, then they'd actually what would probably you do if you had accidentally made more I said I'd sell them on eBay. They'd mold. I'd have a they would mold. <laughs> I'd have a pizza have option. I'd uh, get up and I'd be like, one pepperoni pizza, deep dish style, Chicago style, deep dish pizza, coming around at 300, 200, I'm sold to the man with the funny hat. They would mold! Yeah, <laughs> you just made 450 fucking pizzas. This is no longer funny, Ty. <laughs> this is a serious problem. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're in, you're in, <laughs> you you're in deep dish oh, shit, boy. wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> It's a Wait, weird fucking riddle. You just solved the answer. The question. I just solved the answer. Yes. If I had 450 pizzas, I would just ship them to you, and charge you, and you'd have to pay them. Okay. When it gets to me and they said they didn't have the correct postage, you need to pay all the stuff for this. I'm just gonna send them back. That's what I'm gonna tell them to do. I have the correct postage. I would put a stamp. And I wouldn't each, have to pay anything. Individual then you would be paying for all of this. <laughs> You'd be paying money for me to get pizza. Each individual slice of pizza gets its own stamp, oh and you'll be able to ship it for Okay, pizzas. I want to see you walk into the postage office with a slice of pizza with a stamp on it. Okay, okay. No, no, no. He said slices, so that would be 450 <laughs> divided by at least eight, or multiplied by four. at least eight. I'm doing the math. Of course you are. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so, out. So you walk I'm into out. the post office, you put a stamp on a pizza. 3,600 pizzas. You put a stamp <laughs> on a slice of pizza, like and you hand it to them, and they do what? Throw it in the mail sack? In someone's mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, a and then at the end, they just hand the you a marinara soap letter that just said hell. That's why I imagine the mailbox just did. <laughs> and... Imagine I'm come ho I come home one day and I open up my mailbox to find like a shit ton of pizza just shoved in. I'll be honest, in. I had no idea where this topic was gonna go, and I didn't think it would go anywhere. And I'm glad it went exactly like, oh, where I it went. Sell this on eBay. 
had an answer for this, but I got <laughs> caught up in whatever for the fuck. Okay, I Ethan, was what saying. would you do? You're the only one willing not to answer. Uh, <laughs> not my fault. It is your fault. It can only be your fault. Um. Yes, sir. Answer the question. I would like. Do you swear the truth, the I whole truth, rival, and nothing but like, the truth? Papa John's, like I'd put it right next to it, just to like outdo whatever Papa John's is doing, just because they're fucking disgusting. Yeah. Mamma mia, that's a lot of pizza. Ay, 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 well, that, yeah. You sound how, like fifty cents. <laughs> how much uh, did I have to spend Italian any money on these pizzas, or did I just accidentally acquire four hundred fifty <laughs> pizzas? <laughs> oh. So you had the and resources. The you sure fucked up. Hands. I don't think you really do about it at this point. You won the lottery. Oh, oh! Donate it <laughs> to the U.S. Yes. military. I would take that prize. Who wouldn't? Oh, we got it. <sighs> yeah, in between thing. Okay, I think it's time for the next topic. I got two. You have an in-between thing, I got, I got two that I actually thought All right. of. You have an in-between well, thing, which is the official right name. We're going to do that one. Pick the best one. We don't, we right. don't have a whole so lot of time, we played it with but we'll, we'll go, it was like the, the we'll go however long we need. Where like each one of us say a sentence to the, or say something to a story, and then we pass it on to the next person and build, oh, build on each other. No. I'm ready. Uh, High okay. five. <laughs> I do want to start. Okay. Okay. So okay, recently, I acquired then. 450 pizzas accidentally. Ty, you're next. <laughs> and then I sat on my bicycle. Oh, damn it! I'm... Okay, Ty, go. All right. <laughs> Unfortunately, they grew with mold. While I was on my bicycle... So I threw them at homeless people. I ran over a Chinese hooker. <laughs> the Chinese hooker was upset and <laughs> called her pimp. He showed me what's up and I was like, me so sorry. The pimp, who was a former slave, came down there. <laughs> I mean, really rude. <laughs> Ty, continue the story. You're not being serious. And then he asked if he Very could cook offensive. for me. <laughs> to which he replied, "Bitch, I ain't no chef." <clears throat> it was awesome. So then I went home but and sadly, ate fried rice. My forest died. <laughs> Set. Is your forest? Forest was my hamster. Uh, it died fucking... after I shoved it up my boyfriend's butthole. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he didn't enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> but deep down inside, I knew he thought it was a thorough experience. But me and Grandma, we believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you may say there's no such thing as Santa. Damn, son, that shit ain't tight. <laughs> okay, this is. I do, I no, did this, nowhere to go. This from is that. drained of all Another reason Grandma why we know time most definitely does not smoke it. weed. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were on borrowed time for quite some doing, lines. Uh, having some dank ass weed, and Ty was Ty <laughs> decided to act like the grandpa. What did he say? I'm practicing. <laughs> yeah. I do an do uh, another. You guys, if you guys want to, someone else can start. I wish you could see that. Anyways, uh, are we doing doing another one, or are we moving on? I'm down for doing another one. <laughs> Okay, okay. You starting again, Ethan? Um, I can if you want. Whatever you want, baby. Alright. 
So there I was on a Sunday afternoon. I just got out of church and I'm entering my house. Ty, get your microphone off of your head and <laughs> say your part. Ty was holding the microphone above his head. <laughs> Suddenly he screamed, Oh my god! Four hundred and fifty right. pizzas I accidentally made. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time I ever do LSD. But inside he knew that was not the last time. In fact, it was only the beginning. What a day at church it was, he exclaimed. LSD, as communion. Who would have thunk? And then the preacher started taking snakes and slinging them around, chanting in Aramaic. Uh... I've heard about Adam and Eve, but this is ridiculous. Said the man getting snakes flung at him. Heal my teeth, said the snakes. <laughs> no, said the priest. <laughs> and then the priest retreated to his safe room Do full of altar teeth? boys. <laughs> Do snakes have pearly whites? They have fangs. So they just have fangs. <laughs> <laughs> the priest entered the room and said, Who's ready for their communion? The man said, Not me, and he jumped in his yellow submarine. Now we're all living in a yellow submarine. <laughs> a yellow submarine. Yes, a yellow submarine. And then, passing by, we saw the monkeys, but they were not as good. No. No, they were not. They started slinging their shit at us with ferocious tendencies. <laughs> Just putting in random words in front of each other and expecting it to make sense. <laughs> I'm trying! But oh no, the conflict continues. I accidentally made 450 more deep dish pizzas. <laughs> But now they were all covered in monkey shit. <laughs> Just then, Isis wanted my 450 pizzas. So I. Ha oh, d damn it, it's Isis. Nice. They started the call going. <laughs> <laughs> One of us gets not sure shot really in this racist show. or not. <laughs> I would not be surprised. So I grabbed my shield and hopped in my cannon. Off I go to the caliphate. As I rocketed through the sky, my 450 pizzas following me. We landed in the desert. <laughs> there was, there it was, the leader of ISIS, Skeletor. He approached me with his beautiful mane. And shown me <laughs> you know, Skeletor looks like. how to be a real prince of Egypt. <laughs> Afterwards, we went to Denny's. I don't know why. It was kind of rank. But anyways, we went to Denny's. I got a grand slam, but it was not that good. <laughs> I don't know why we went to Denny's. Denny's never has excellent service. But once in a while, everyone has to give it a shot. A shot, or a grand slam, as the fine people at Denny's call it. As I sat there, eating Denny's, and thinking about my victory over ISIS, I stared and thought about the 450 shit-covered pizzas. <laughs> Yeah, 
You may be wondering what the moral of this story is, and it's Denny's. Denny's is the only thing that can stop Isis. That and the power of love. And the thank end. Ass weird. <laughs> wow. All right, shit, that'd All right be we tight. need to get through these topics, okay? <laughs> I fucking lost it when the snake started talking. As soon as that. Okay, that went on. Wait, that went on. Both of those went on longer than what they should have been. But uh, I'm gonna. S I am going. I got ya. I'm going to spin that wheel. He's spinning it nice, isn't he, Ethan? Shut up! I already spun it. I already spun it. Ah. Uh. Oh, just spin it! You're doing something here. I don't know. Shut the fuck up. Is, is okay. he talking? I keep getting the same goddamn topics. Hold on, give me this. Nah, 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 okay. nah, 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 nah. This is Ty's this topic. This isn't copyright. What? Oh no. Ty's topic is <laughs> bananas, bananas, or more bananas. When, a minute, wait, wait. Did you know, delete, delete, delete the message? Ty, what do you mean by that? <laughs> okay. So, originally that question was supposed- that topic was supposed to state bananas, bananas, or more bananas. So, I will be talking, and then the rest of you must answer the following questions with Bananas, bananas, or more bananas. Now, are you ready? Whatever, guess. So, question one. You are sitting at home eating a nice cup of raspberries. As I do. When you decide to watch TV. Now, there's several things you could watch. You could watch A, bananas, B, bananas, or C, more bananas. I'm gonna have to go with C or more bananas. Which is the right answer? Yes. I I'm I'm just still I'm, I'm just sitting that's, here trying. That's to think not the right who in answer. The right but mind is sitting at the house eating a bowl of raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People that watch bananas. Why not? What kind of? <laughs> I just like that someone has like a bowl of raspberries and they're just plunging their fucking hand into there and just fucking going to town on some raspberries. It's like what kind of vegan nightmare did you drop us into? Yeah, you will. <laughs> I got one C. I need two more answers. Uh, mine's B. You B know, bananas. I'm gonna go with A. Bananas, okay. Bananas, okay. Then by default, we'll go with none of the above. So he's watching TV, and he's just, uh, he decides there's nothing on TV that I want to watch. <clears throat> so he takes the bowl of raspberries, he dumps it on his head, and decides to take a shower. Now he goes upstairs, takes off his clothes, and takes a shower. He comes out, goes to his room, and realizes he doesn't know what to wear. So what should he wear? A. Bananas. <laughs> B. Bananas. <laughs> or C. More I am bananas. going to go again with A because if you're wearing bananas, you don't need more bananas. <laughs> well, I, okay. I, you know what? I'm going to differ with that. I think it's going to be cold outside and he's going to need more bananas. So I'm gonna pick C. C. Okay. I think the more Chemical. appealing option is B. <laughs> bananas. Bananas. <laughs> so, but, so by default, we go with bananas. Correct. <laughs> Choice B. So he's looking, <laughs> champion. He's lost looking the for the last one. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah we so did. he Only looks none the of the above. <laughs> At first time, at yeah. first time, I said it was. It said C was the right answer. Yeah, and then he said, "I can't believe you're wrong or something." <laughs> yeah. And then for some reason, it's he like, dumped a bunch of hell? fucking raspberries on his head. <laughs> so he's looking in his closet, and dude, 
Thanks to Choice B, he finds the perfect outfit. A per exact replica of Han Solo before he <laughs> got dipped into the car. I thought he night. was wearing bananas. So he put. <laughs> what are you, retarded? No, no. that's just the are you option. listening to the story? <laughs> Apparently not. So he puts on the costume, and all of a sudden, Boba Fett crashes in into the ceiling and abducts his ass. Not He's him taken to the ass. ass. <laughs> not him. Ass his only. ass only. <laughs> no, no, his whole. It would be more no, interesting his, if it was just himself. Ass. ass first, though. That's just a term of it. Oh no, you wish, but he took. <laughs> His whole being put him on the ship, cut off an arm, and sent him right back down into his room and left. <laughs> so obviously the guy's thinking, well, I have to go get my arm back. But how to persu persuade Dar Darth Boba Fett? <laughs> <laughs> now there's several choices. He could go with A, bananas, <laughs> B, bananas, or C, more bananas. I'm gonna have to go with A, because this shit is bananas. <laughs> this is a slippery slope we're going down. I'm and, gonna have uh, to go I'm with A as well, again. because Boba Fett's relatively in shape. He doesn't need more bananas, he just needs bananas. Okay, fair enough. So two votes for A, one vote for B. <laughs> that makes C the winner. So more what? bananas. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of flawed oh God. thinking this system? This is high logic. <laughs> because in because in this round, the question with the le the answer with the least votes won. Only in this round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like golf. I told you the rules in the beginning. All Did I you? heard was bananas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he decides. So in order to persu persuade <laughs> Darth. <laughs> Boba Fett there, he decides to go with <laughs> choice C, more bananas. So he gets into this banana cart made by Donkey Kong, and he starts racing him into outer space. Yeah. He's making up this entire thing as he goes, and it is pretty impressive. <laughs> so, he and Boba Fett are pretty evenly matched now, and they decide the only proper way to solve this is through a race. So, thus they enter the rainbow ship track of infinity, rainbow where they must Why race they to the, the <laughs> end of the infinity. <laughs> the rainbow <laughs> race to the infinity. They enter Rainbow Road. It's a new Rainbow right. Road, everyone. So, before their engine starts, the hero let gets to choose one more decision. What... It, the outcome of the race should be. Now it's either A. Well, bananas. I, I'm on a, I, I would B, think if they're racing banana. and they get to the question mark block, shouldn't that be one of the options? Is what they will get in the question mark? No. All right. Red shell. <laughs> A bananas. B bananas. Or C more bananas. C more bananas. Okay. See, I'm gonna go with B bananas because I feel like C bananas C is gonna B, weigh him huh? down. He I'm does not want that many, a, uh, that many bananas. Well, since you all chose different answers, we're forced to go with choice zero, <laughs> in which he takes his cart before the race starts and slams it into Boba Fett, <laughs> thus blowing them both up. And thus, he wakes up. He looks around, realizes everything has been a dream. But he looks down at himself, and he realizes he has just pissed himself. The end. <laughs> that was not a fucking am, topic! Am I like- <laughs> am I in an episode of the Twilight Zone right now? Right. <laughs> Maybe. I have this whole thing written in front of me. I was trying to read it. Were you writing that the entire time? Is this a I thing? I thought that you I were... came up with weird Why stuff. Why did you no. this? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Should we continue? 
Spin the wheel. Sure. Spin wheel the wheel? Oh, oh. Uh. Hopefully, I, I get I, I get the next one wrong Who's the leader of the band who's made for you and me? M I C K E Y M O U S E Mickey Mouse Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Na 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 na. All right, I got a new one. 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 Made for you and me. M I C K E Y M O U S E. Oh shit. Yes, that is Bill Nye, and yes, he is going to rape you. It's what are you topic. gonna do? So Bill Nye is gonna rape you. What are you gonna do? Uh, so you Accept topic. it. All right. <laughs> Accept it. <laughs> That's where Bill. He's Nye a man got of knowledge. knowledge. Give him more of your knowledge. Took it from his victims. <laughs> Late. <laughs> he just started raping people. <laughs> Lay down. Let Bill Nye use you as a rag doll. It first started with, like, Nye. Miley Cyrus, and now it's evolved into, like, that Tyrone guy. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, set, you gotta set the mood here of what's happening. So I'm sitting <laughs> in my bed playing Angry Birds and, and, and jerking into new Star Wars trailers when all of a sudden uh, a bow-tied silhouette kicks down my door... <laughs> And then I hear ominously in the background, Bill, 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 Bill. And I go, and I, and I, and I put my blanket over my covers and I go, maybe if I'm under the covers, he won't see me. But he walks over and the bills get louder. Bill, 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 Bill. And, and he comes inside and then it finally comes. Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> and then I, and then I cryingly go, science rules. So chemical just totally stole my ending when and he comes and says, drool. "Bill Nye, the science guy." So, well, it's got it's the song. So, it's building up. What what ha You gotta. Yeah, you, you remember gotta the there. theme song where it crescendos to the rape at the end. Oh, that's an episode they want you to forget. So, basically, what happens is online. Bill Nye walks in the room and the narrator starts talking. He's like, Bill, what's wrong? He's like, I'm going to fuck somebody. And he just goes and starts raping me. And he starts explaining how everything is matter and how long the light it takes from light to get to the earth. <laughs> And, but and none of and this then matters. At that exact moment, Neil uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson comes in, and he just starts going to town on Bill Nye. It's just one giant train. And at that point, everybody finishes simultaneously. Here, it's kind of like that old saying: If you get fucked by Bill Nye in the middle of the woods, does anybody <laughs> care? The answer is Bill Nye does. <laughs> Bill Nye always, always cared. <clears throat> you think he wouldn't love you like that? If he didn't care? Love you right in the middle of the forest against your will? Do you think they felt some real chemistry between each other? They were they, they were they were thinking about it. the Bill Nye episode about teaching about acronyms. They were like A T P D T F A S L F U C K. <laughs> Those are hip terms for our hip audience. I guess I'm not hip or an audience. Did you just did you just do cocaine? That man always does cocaine when he's on a podcast. <laughs> Batman. Ty, do your best Batman voice. Batman or Bane, you get to choose. I'll do Bane. Do Bane. I can do Bane. I can't do Bane. I want to hear you do Bane. 
Grab a f oh, Are you not <laughs> entertained? <laughs> that was the gladiator. <laughs> I don't. Oh my god. Oh shit, it is. <laughs> shit, I need a line. I was wondering what would break first. I'm looking your this up. Do you like body? my fur coat, Batman? <laughs> oh, was I was wondering what would break the man. It turns out I broke the man. <laughs> and this gives you power over me? <laughs> oh my god. I'm looking it up. I don't have time for you to sit here okay. and fumble around with your phone. Got you it. You have a tuba? I got it. Calm down, Doctor. That now's not the time for fear. <laughs> that comes later. What? What Ty, look up an excerpt of Fifty Shades of Grey and read it as Bane. <laughs> and then I, I saw you. her hot, Please hot do this. body as I slowly caressed her breasts. <laughs> so that might actually be a. All right. Oh, here we go. So I'm taking. So I'm getting this from 50 terrible lines from 50 shades of gray. <laughs> Good sourcing oh my. work. I don't oh, oh read the na oh, the nastiest oh, one you can find. Read no. it. Read it. Read it as Bane. No. Read it as Bane. No. Do it. I I want to read some as Batman. Okay, that one's at kind of better. Can we get a two? Uh, like one where there's two characters Tyler. talking back and forth Bane to each other that we could do these voices for. Batman and Bane <laughs> script read of Fifty Shades of Grey. Okay. I sent the link in the tag oh, in the group chat. What do you mean? <laughs> you mean this notepad we have right here yeah, between right? the four of us? Yeah. <laughs> well, on my no, phone. We, we use iPads. They're all sitting right in front of us. Oh, go down to number eight. Count. Okay, so who is Kristen and who is Anna? Okay. You can be Kristen. Be the Kristen. The Dr. Anna. Green is coming to sort you out. Why? Because I hate condoms. It's my body. It's mine too, because I'm Batman. No, I'm Bane. Oh, my. I guess... I don't think those are in, <laughs> that was the, in the script. That was it. Oh, that was oh it? I, I love this one. My inner is entire thing is doing the meringue with some salsa moves. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? <laughs> her, her my inner, inner body was god. doing the meringue even. My, my inner, inner goddess is, is doing a triple axle well, the mamba. off the uneven bars and upright late. My mouth is dry. Mentally girdling my loins. <laughs> my I mouth is dry. Hotel. See, I'd rather be Batman. Ty. Ty, you. I, I'm speaking of doing the meringue, you died in a conga line accident a while ago, didn't you? That's true. We had to bring him back to life. Wait, what? Did you want to? You want to come out about that or? What? Remember you died in that conga line accident. It was tragic. No, I don't remember that. You died that. in the conga line How do you accident. I not remember this. All right. It was an episode of the show, right? At the very beginning, we had to announce that it, you were doing a conga line and it went off course, derailed, conga line, freak accident, you Shit. went straight into a wall and you died. That's hardcore. I'm up for that. Yeah. That's how I'd like to go. Feel it, baby. Feel it, baby. You're up for that. I guess you're not ready to open up for that. All right, we have one or two more lines, topics. Then. Um, I would like to. So, do, these lines are hilarious. So I'd like to do it no in between sense. thing, though. Okay, <laughs> well if we can do it, hurry up, cause we're like in an hour twenty-five. Your mother. Ah, who cares? Who cares how long this goes? Can I at Maybe least? Can I read rules. one more? Uh. All right. I want to do that. Yeah, read one more. Suddenly. <laughs> Suddenly he sits up. Oh, wait, the no, fuck. <laughs> Suddenly he sits up and. T oh fuck! You know what? Fuck it. Nope. I'm done. I can't do it. What? Do it. Oh, are you not mad? No, do it. Batman voice. Suddenly he sits up and tucks my panties off and throws them on the floor, pulling off his boxer. Oh my! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, 
Hold on. What what number is that? I won. <laughs> number one. Hold on. Suddenly, he sits up and tugs my panties off and throws them on the floor. Pulling <laughs> off his box of brief, his erection springs forth. Springs free. Whatever. Fuck you, I'm Batman. Mmm, I'm Alfred, bitch. Alright. <clears throat> I guess. It's not that often that we get tie on a podcast, but we do get tie on a podcast every now and then, and then every time we got tie on, it's like something we gotta do. He knows. If we if we have him on. So it's a little oh, segment no. uh, we like to call Life Advice with Ty. You can see the look on Ty's face the second he, like, figured it out in his <laughs> head. So... We've had a couple of these where we we have a topic this for time. Ty has to give us advice about said topic. Uh, so, Nick, do you have any any uh, anything you would like advice on that we Ty have can help you with? It could be anything in the world. Driving in New Jersey. No, 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 no. We also Wait. dealt with we also dealt with Halloween, like uh, what was uh, it? Oh, ha graveyard yeah, survival. Did. How to survive in a graveyard yeah, is one that, that we covered. But that was let a question me, on me. everyone's mind. <laughs> How to survive in a graveyard? <laughs> okay, okay, I got, I got Don't one. Die. Remember, I got you one. built a house out of tombstones and How grave robbers. How to defend rock? yourself against babies? <laughs> okay, Ty, you have to give go. me some prep time. Yep. Yeah, think about that. <laughs> I mean, me me constantly, as the audience member, I constantly <gasps> have to fight off babies. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. That's... Alright, all right, That's a go. constant problem our audience has. Okay. <laughs> Specifically ours, Life no one else's. Life advice with Ty. How to deal with babies. Now... There's... Been an issue with some people on how to deal with babies that are attacking you. Well, here's what you do. You take down their food source. And in order to do that, you have to poison the child's mother <laughs> so that each time they Titties. breastfeed, they will be poisoned by some deadly toxin and which you will get to watch as they suffocate before <laughs> you. <laughs> And die. <laughs> is this a no? Is this a method of that euthanasia? comes next? <laughs> That'd be stupid. Because the poison doesn't actually kill them; it just that makes one? them unmovable. <laughs> yeah. Just you watch them die. Because then you'll do the part that actually kills them. Okay. Then you gotta deal with the zombie that is babies. Possibly one of the best answers you can oh. come up with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if we can oh, say what no. just happened, but that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that was... <laughs> oh no. I was thinking like brass knuckles specifically made for me. <laughs> they, they were all there. <laughs> I just like how she peeked over her shoulder. Oh like, no. What's going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, Ty. <laughs> that, was, that was phase one. What's phase two? Oh no. <laughs> should, we, should we say? Should we give some context? Ty, to Ty what can happened? say if it. Ty can say it if he wants to. If not, I don't want to like say anything. <laughs> what is it? Is he taking it with the door. him? All right. Oh, he locked it. Okay. Yeah, we didn't tell you, this episode's podcast is actually being filmed inside Wait, Ty's no, house. What? Yeah, there's a camera there, a camera there, everybody's on camera! It's we're doing a what now? <laughs> it- They're on the floor, they're on it's the ceiling, a microphone on around. the laboon. You see that dildo mounted on the wall? There's a camera in there! You see Hi, your girlfriend supporting you on the around. side? Nope, anyway. it's a camera! What girlfriend? 
<laughs> okay, Ty, so phase one is poison okay, the mother. Two. What's phase now, two? This, there's various approaches to this. Now, they'll be stuck on the ground. So you can either A, step on their heads <laughs> until they go squish. <laughs> Gotta get that squish in. Two, you do it with pliers. And then you get an actual squish. <laughs> Three. Hold on, hold on, so they make baby Wait, size what? pliers? Those would be bigger pliers than like normal pliers. Yes. Uh, yeah, you need like a full on vice grip. Not if you hold them down with your leg. <laughs> Ty has powerful, powerful legs. <laughs> This has to be the most visually episode that's been like lacking in everything. All right. No. Nope. So you squish Three. them with pliers. Is that the end of that, or you have any more? Euthanasia. <laughs> now, of course, you have to ask okay. politely if they want it. <laughs> hey, baby. In most particular, they they'll say no. Do you in want which your you, bottle? In Do which you you'll have to ask they the mother, which is most likely dying because the toxics in their body. <laughs> so it's more of a natural yes. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and that went just as well as <laughs> I was hoping it would. <laughs> You'd just be able to hold on to them and say, you're not going to exist for much longer. <laughs> Happy trails. Do you say that to babies a lot? I can't tell if this is the worst life advice with Ty we've ever done or the is. best. I really Here's can't tell. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's, There's something that most line. definitely happened in the middle of it that made it the best for me, and we can't talk about it. No. Yeah. Like, visually, this has got to be the greatest thing we've ever done. Audially, people must be kind of confused, but whatever. So, uh, so, okay, so we kind of have two, two more topic type things. Um, uh, one of which is from, well, okay, so Nick, you just wrote on your topic thing, linking okay, stories. Well, what does this mean? I, uh, I really like it when shows, machinimas, movies, when they link stories together. Continuity. Yes, continuity. Uh, like, you know, like, like for me personally, I don't know if you guys have done this, but for me personally, everything on my channel is all in the same universe. Like, there have been well, multiple references between videos and things about like that. that. <laughs> yeah. I'm really going through my mind about what to say about I that like right continuity. now. I like continuity. I'll just, I'll just leave it at this because people must be thinking something. There are there, most definitely there, things. There are things. There are hints at things. I want to hear between this. Between videos. Gotta look for it. You know, gotta know about some of them, Ty. I mean, I can't think of all of them off the top of my head, but I'm not gonna even rattle them off here because the kind of things. The, the things that I don't want to be like, oh yeah, we did this and then this and then this, but you know. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I, really, I really like that. Um, you know, I, I like when movies, TV shows, or, you know, everything, it's like, oh, you know, you've got these two separate stories in the, you know, these different characters, and then they meet at some point, it's like, oh, this is all happening, you know, my, around My problem other. with that, because this kind of goes back to the South Park thing, is only because it, it's things like that that I don't mind, but it's, you have to kind of be a fan to really appreciate it. If not, it's just like subtle things that kind of continue from another thing that you might not understand. Yeah. yeah. And if, and if it's something that you don't like, then it's something you have to put up Endeavor. with for fucking forever. Yeah. Endeavor. You know? Like, if it's a joke you really find annoying, now you have to put yeah. up with no, it for the I rest of the I don't think it's series. a bad thing by any means, because when done well, and I and I definitely enjoy watching it, uh, and, and, and chemical subtle hints, uh, there are. There are aliens episode. in South Park. Visitors. Every episode, there's a hidden alien. In South really? Park. Never know. <laughs> that that's kind of the point of them being hidden, Ty. Yeah. <laughs> well, they could have yeah. told us. You gotta find them. <laughs> they did. <laughs> 
Hey guys, Matt Stone and Trey Parker here. Just want to let you know there are hidden aliens in all of our well, they episodes. They could address them in all. each episode, like right before it begins. <laughs> <laughs> they could address it. Oh, that. <laughs> hey guys, hidden oh, alien. Oh, hey, in this did you notice the hidden alien back in uh, you know five minutes forty-seven seconds in? We did. It might be cool if they like did a subtle nod to it that people that wouldn't know what they're talking about wouldn't get. But I don't know. I wouldn't want them to ever be like, hey guys, here's the alien here. No. But, I mean, I, I, I just think that that's a really cool thing. Uh, what, what, like you said, when it's done right. Um, I just wanted to bring it up and get thoughts and stuff. Ty, what, what is your opinion on that? Uh, uh, no comment? You have no comment at all. Nope. You just you just knew it was con continuity, and you knew to call that to make that any out, comments that about the Holocaust. That was your only uh, contribution to this chat. No, no, I I thoroughly enjoy continuity. What I don't like about it is when people uh, mess it up. So like, there are some movies that I can't name one specifically off the top of my head. They'll be like make they'll make this huge plot point, like okay, we have to remember this. We can't go beyond this rule this rule is here and you can't break it no matter what and then by the end of it they break it and no one cares wait i got a good one pixels what what is it? has oh god why did you go to see that yes. why did you see any adam sandler movie, movie i saw it as a good short I, film one i saw it as a joke with my friend he thought it'd be decent. I knew we it'd be We thought it'd be real so funny if we enjoyed it afterwards wait. and then gave it a good review. <laughs> <laughs> so I found... I f and then made out <laughs> at makeout point so I found and took over clothes a and ate popcorn. Swedish fish on the ground. It wasn't open, so I it ate it. a good review. So that helped. That, that was pretty good. But besides That's what that, made the so movie great. <laughs> That's it, what made the movie. It really <laughs> did. Free Swedish Highlight fish. Highlight of pixels. Ty wanted to. Ty wanted to pixels. Swedish fish Ty on the came floor. Out with Swedish fish, though. <laughs> Pretty good, if you ask me. <laughs> I'd say this was a win-win for everybody. <laughs> I know, Tyler right? Keep continuity up because somebody who saw those uh, no, Swedish fish no, before let me... would then see that they're open and or not no. there afterwards. In the actual movie. There is one rule, the alien state, that if you break a rule, then you lose, and we will just invade Earth. So, the last challenge of the movie is to beat Donkey Kong. And they cheat. They plainly cheat. And instead of being penalized... They're like, fuck it, we give up, and they just leave. How how did they cheat? What rule yeah. did they... Hold on, I, I, I saw the movie, unfortunately, twice. <laughs> what rule did they break? And then I accidentally made 450 that you can't pizzas. <laughs> you're just sitting the whole time yeah. and we're yelling at Ty. So like how like, in a Pac-Man... Every time you walk in the movie theater, <laughs> pixels start, you go, God damn oh, it, okay, not so again. Are you talking about when he jumps down from thing to thing? And then he doesn't make it all the way to the top. He just throws the hammer. Mm-hmm. That okay. all that. Yeah, that's all cheating. That's not part um, of the game. It's it's an Adam Sandler movie. They they broke a lot of rules to get that movie made. The dude's cheating they broke a lot of Adam in Sandler right? in their movies. They turned Dipper or whatever Q that orange Cubert into a human female. No. Was Cubert yes. hot? Yeah. Cubert Not was. nearly Cubert as hot as Cubert used to be. <laughs> exactly. Cubert was hot before. Right? Cubert Imagine was hot what as could shit. fit inside that suck hole. <laughs> That's just a vacuum. They crater. also had Paul Blart be the president, which no one could Was it was it the was it you sure it wasn't the actor Paul or did they Blart. get actually Paul no, Blart? Paul Blart. <laughs> They got Paul Blart to be the president. That sounds like a good movie to me. The actor Kevin James played the president, who's also done Paul a movie Blart. Paul Blart. That sounds like a good movie to me. Anytime Paul Blart is involved, I don't understand how it's a bad movie. 
right? Mall cop runs for president. How do you feel like Paul Blart Mall segue. Cop 3 was about his presidential I, campaign? I, I for him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I'm done. I'm not even. I'm president. Is that what Paul Blart sounds like? Why was he president? I guess. Hello, I'm Paul Why was Blart, that the actor president. they Pe got to? Because. Was he in blackface for it? Nope. Damn it. He's just there. He Did acted he drunk throughout it. He had any ties to it. Osama Bin Laden in it. He was drunk. Ah. Uh, you kind of had to be to have anything that's to do with true. that movie. <laughs> that is true. The, the only thing that got me through that movie oh, wow, was a bottle just walked of out of the room. I had Swedish he was fish. On my screen. Yeah, I, you did get Swedish fish. That is a uh, proud yeah. of you. That was a plus. I was warned that if I ate them, I'd have stomach aches. I mean, they're in a, a a packaging. Yeah, but I don't. I didn't know how long they were on the floor. It couldn't have been that long. I mean, people come and clean up after the movie. No, they don't. That was the first screening. <laughs> and there were maybe somebody was in there, realized they were in pixels, and said, "Oh, I'm not supposed <laughs> to be in here." They ran out as I'm fast as they somebody. could. <laughs> Love their fucking Swedish fish mind. I'm going to see the new GI Joe movie, not this garbage. Why would you see the new GI Joe? Why would movie? you see pixels? Exactly. <laughs> Why would you see any of them? That's that's a good point, but still. Be because magic, Mike. That's also a Ooh. good point. Channing Tatum. Magic of the Gathering. That's that's a cool game. Not a movie, though. So, you know. No. Not a movie. No, it's completely different. There, there's not much story linking involved. Ty, have you seen any good movies lately? I have. Uh, well, well, besides Pixels, uh, what, would, what would those movies be? I don't remember. All right, thank you for that. You're welcome. Fucking Tyler Hosbino, everybody. Wait, wait, did we lose Chemical? Uh, yeah, he happened to walk out yeah. of the room uh, in the middle of... He just was like, I'm done with this shit, and he walked away, and I'm not sure we might need to go find him. But I do have a movie. Um... Quick, name something that came out. <laughs> uh, um, okay. I, I will say it, it didn't come out uh, recently. It's on DVD okay. now. Uh, the Judge. Nope. With Robert Downey nope. Jr. and Robert nope. Duvall. No. Nope. It was it was a it good was, movie, oh, uh, it, uh, but <gasps> it it was it was one major emotional roller coaster. Patch Adams. That is not a recent movie. <laughs> <laughs> no. Aladdin? Now, if it was, that would be impressive. That would be impressive. Wait, Patch Adams is terrible. It's not that bad of a movie. It just was not accurate. At all. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily... The, the main character movie. steals from a hospital. That's I very accurate. I don't remember that movie <laughs> enough, but I remember thinking... People steal from hospitals I, I, I don't remember the, the movie a lot, but I don't remember oh. thinking it was bad when I watched it. Not saying I it's didn't the either. best movie I've, I've ever seen, seen, but I mean, like, I didn't hate it. I don't look at it the second time. Besides that, it just was not accurate. Just around the river bend. I don't know if he's gonna come back, and if he doesn't, we might need to end this podcast without. Uh, let me think. What can we do in the meantime? And we could share life lessons. All right, Ty, why don't you start on that? Well, back a while ago, uh -huh. there was a time where I had a life experience that I learned that if you put four packs of oatmeal in the same container <laughs> and put water in them, you can get the same amount of oatmeal. That's it. 
Okay, uh, I've got an right. interesting uh, thing. I, think I might learned. know this little Canadian. I you're know about. a surefire way to piss any Canadian off. It will make them angry. Refer when you refer to hockey, refer to it yeah, as man, ice like hockey. S- because to Canadians, hockey. there are no other form. There's no other food. form of hockey. So you say, "Oh yeah, how's the ice hockey match?" Street hockey. There's field hockey. You know, but yeah, refer to it as ice hockey. You will at least agitate any Canadian. Yeah, fun fact. I'm proud of you. (laughs) Oh, uh, you want a real life lesson? Do not put a pie in the dishwasher trying to hide it from someone and then later start the dishwasher. How does one do such a thing? Oh. Forgetting you had a pie in there. <laughs> I don't even ask at this point. When one is trying to hide a pie from someone one lives with, and then one forgets about the pie the next day, and then starts the dishwasher. <laughs> I legitimately don't know what to do now. Life lessons, kids. <laughs> I'm proud um, of you. Um, give me a second. I think the last topic's my topic. So, I could probably pull it up and we can keep this show going. Do it. All right, I will. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So, last topic, uh, which is mine, <clears throat> is how are you going to teach your kids some manners? Wait. Can you restate the question in an easier, happier tone. How are you going to teach your kids some manners? <laughs> oh, okay. That's that didn't... what got you to get it? I guess with a slap of the wrist. <laughs> and handshake. The same way I was taught? It'd be a lot of backhanded compliments in my house. Well, I, I was... I was... Uh, my dad started teaching me manners um and if i did not say yes sir no sir yes ma'am or no ma'am he would count to three and then start smacking me upside the back of the head until i remembered to say yes or no sir yes ma'am no ma'am so that's that's one way it worked i say it um (laughs) um let's see you know he would uh I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm going to explain hey, everything to my kids. back in. And, you know, I was spanked well, when I was younger. Well, we to the yeah. next topic. You know, I'll do the same. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I'm on a very weird system now, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know okay. what you're talking about. We're uh, start, on, uh, start talking again. You just, you just, you just walked no, 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 out no, no, of the room. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut all this. All right. You don't even need to record. All right. What, we're what's what's happening? Uh, we're on the on last the topic. Frequency. Yeah, we're all sitting next to each other. All right, go. We've been. Do- uh, so we're talking about teaching kids some manners, and and Nick was talking about. Yeah. How, how he was gonna teach his kids some manners. Shot. Cigarette burns. The same way I was taught. I, I was spanked. Cigarette oh burns. Um, but see, you know... Punch in the face? What? It's love chemical. No. No, I mean, it wasn't... It wasn't It wasn't an act of aggression. I mean, I knew... I was... I, I knew why I was being punished every time it happened. Which is really important because kid, you know, I, I, I'll see people out in the world and they just smack their kids and go, don't do that or you know, shut up. And it's like, <laughs> you don't want no. people to see. Explain to your kid, no, that's not how you act. I don't know. I think, I think, I think you, you kind of kind of got to like ask questions like like, like you shoplifted right? from somewhere. Well, you know, like why? why? What, do you want, what do you want? Like attention? Money? Like what am I? What like what am I? What am I not doing? You know, but then again, I I know I'd be shitty. Yeah, it's like, so why'd you do that? I don't really want to be in that position in the first place. I'd like to why? revise I my would... answer after right. Ethan. I don't remember your answer. Uh, okay, well, sure, that's worse. 
my rule would exclusively be I would have no rules, but but jelly. You could never put your fucking elbows on the table. <laughs> as soon as you decide to do that, I would. Flip I will have a shit. shotgun. I don't even ready. care if I keep an open hand or not. You're getting fucking decked in the <laughs> mouth. Out of everything. Ty, you would like to revise your answer? Yes. Oh, wow. So, in, like, in recent years, like, uh, people have had to change their methods because, uh, like, new generations, they need to be taught different ways than uh, older generations. So, in my logic, that means punish them before they actually do it. So, like, Wait. in this new... Every day before they wake up, you know, they're going to commit some sort of so sin. So, and you give them three punches. Take, take, for example, like, you're eating dinner at the table. They haven't done anything wrong, but, like, they're at the age, like, they have phones now, even though they're, like, eight years old. So, you take their phones away, just stand up at dinner, take their phones away. They complain, they say, why did you take your phone, our phones away? And you can say, oh, because I knew you were going to put your elbows on the table. Because it's bound to happen. So the next time they enter dinner, they're going to have to go through a long thinking process about, okay, we better make sure we but don't do never, anything they wrong. They did it. <laughs> You're a dick, Dad. <laughs> Yeah, that that would be that would okay. What you're talking about is Captain America two <laughs> logic. It's like, oh yeah, we're gonna we're, yeah. I, I'm just gonna punish you. I I haven't seen you do anything, but I know you probably did something. So I'm just gonna punish you anyway. Well, now here's a, a better lot, hold on. The majority of people do no eight year old, no eight year old should have a phone. Listen, I wouldn't be texting anyone if eight-year-olds didn't have phones, okay? You can shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but no, no yeah, eight-year-old has the naughty any list reason this year. needing a phone. Yeah, I am. We think. <laughs> so, see... I gave my kids... Mr. So, see, the Christmas. next time they have <laughs> dinner, the father can take away their phones again. They'll ask, uh, what did we do this time? And th the father can make up another reason. Holocaust. And you can. <laughs> that's why you. S but but then, that's why then you the start at such a young age because, uh, that oh, they'll be more acceptable so to true. this. Might as well do it. We're already gonna get punished for yes. it. Yes, <laughs> you gotta you gotta start taking their phones Baby. when they're like two or so. Yeah. So, me, so Ty. Yeah. So, so, so Ty. So you just so Ty. You're watching. Beat you're your watching uh, the mother give birth. Baby comes out and you go, okay, <laughs> give me your phone, young lady. <laughs> but see, that's too young. <laughs> you have to start at you an just early age, it like a football. Like a five, for example. Baby on the ass go, you know what you're doing. The first anymore. The first time they, the first time they eat dinner like a normal family, you just punish them right away, saying no, you'll do you this wrong. Don't do that. And, and the next baby time, will respond you'll... with goo goo gaga. <laughs> well, they're five and six. They'll be like, oh, oh. He... That's the first um, time you eat like a regular up. family. Is at five and six? <laughs> sure. But by that time, they'll thinking. They'll when be more they acceptable to, to the belief they wait that your dad. Six. No, that your dad is psychic. That he'll he can <laughs> see what you're going to do in the future. Like at that time, they could be thinking, "Oh man, I really be was going to put probably. my elbow on the table. Maybe he can see see the future." And he'll see that coming no, and take gonna their phones away before gonna, you know, they do it. You know what? This guy can <laughs> shit I didn't do. I'm going to cut see, his throat that's while why he's sometimes sleeping. you got to reward them. And, and... With million dollar bills. <laughs> like, bill. they can act <laughs> as crazy as they want for the oh day. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. But the next I... day, nope, your phones are away because you're going to do that deed. And you keep it going until they've learned all the lessons to a proper d dinner etiquette.
Eroquent. You're a whore, Jessica. Eroquent is a word you, you just used. It <laughs> <laughs> I broke it. I broke neck. <laughs> I broke him. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I broke him. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know. I'm so close. Ty, explain one oh, of your rules. One of your house rules. One of my house yeah. rules. I'm sidekick. So you'll be. <laughs> <laughs> First rule. I'm the sidekick. So. You know when you're in trouble. <laughs> Alright, give me another house rule, please. That was, uh... Okay, second rule. Don't pee on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I don't want to boil those cushions. cushions. Well, like... Well, uh, obviously. <laughs> Third rule, do not, <laughs> there are women in the house, and men, Get a kick so stand, neither kids. leave kick kick the woman up nor down, but in a in halfway the position. Punch the man in his privates <laughs> when being invaded. <laughs> Alright, are we done here? <laughs> Pedophiles. Bunch of rule breakers are coming in your house. Pedophiles, teachers, well, what kind of um, invasion are we licensed about? therapists. You, you name it. <laughs> well, yeah, because they're gonna have to go through a lot of therapy to, like, to not the beastie to not, boys to help them not believe that their father is sidekick. License the party. License to kill. <laughs> License to kill. Oh god. It's true. Backstreet's back. You know, the, the, Beastie Boys. the Beastie Boys fought and possibly died for my right to party. Never? <laughs> I thought so. Alright, are we done here? <laughs> this has been going on for a, a, a while. I think we're getting to the two hour mark. Alright. That was way over I the think we're good. I think we're good. I went exactly uh, where uh, I wanted it to go. Holy shit. So, wait, should we stop the recording? That was we're, we're getting pretty close to that moment. Uh, does not, anybody, uh, Nick, do you have. I know you already kind of did this, but do you want to plug anything before we go? The drain. Watch Comedic Duo on Tri Titan right. Productions and look for I want my to stuff coming up. I want to apologize in advance videos. for breaking you. What do you mean it. in advance? Oh no, <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> get a lot, a lot worse. Trust me, there's he not can much foresee left to break. the ass beating. <laughs> it's already it's happened. going to get a lot worse from here. Because I'm gonna start messaging you now because we're friends. I'm gonna say, hey, <laughs> random. Qu I'm gonna send a message li like I do to every friend normally. Message of the day. <laughs> I'm Eat gonna carrots go, oh, before bed. It, it's gonna be something. It's gonna be something like, "Hey, bitch, I know your address. <laughs> your, 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 both your IP address and your regular address. I have guns. My, I have guns. Make sure to I eat have, plenty of carrots bombs. before Don't going me, into the bath. I'm staring at you through your window. Madison Square Garden. You know it. I uh well well Nick. Hopefully we can uh. We can have you on again, maybe with Ty, hopefully without him. Oh, wow. Thanks. <laughs> well, I had fun being Ty on. Oh, I'll God, Ty just Better shot or himself. worse than what you thought, be honest. It was, it was definitely yeah, don't worry interesting. About that. We brought him back That's once, true. we can bring him back again. If a conga line didn't kill him. Thank God. Um, you're actually the first guest. I honestly uh, didn't really this, know quite what to expect, but I, know I think it turned to, uh, out well. Having him on, I knew him. Well, we all know who he was. But, like we never met. I, I had him as a friend on Skype. 
Oh well, yeah, Hush, probably, probably not. Give way too much away, just. Yeah, but I, we never talked. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was. I had fun. I had fun. It depends on what you mean by That's fun, not but good. yeah, not I guess yet. It's something right. All right. Well, There'll be plenty of time for it. I though. didn't want to shoot myself. I guess that's the end. Uh, see you guys next time. I guess. Yes. Or something wrong, depending on how you look at it. Feliz Navidad. We'll leave you with that. Peace in the Middle East. Tokido Taco Bell. Shut up. I, I don't know. <laughs>